Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve K2022 MA set to question number 29. The question is the velocity field in a fluid is given by given to be vector v, which is equal to 4xy i cap plus 2x square minus y square j cap. Now, which of the following statement is or are correct? Option A: the velocity field is one-dimensional. Option B: the flow is incompressible. Option C. The flow is irrotational and option D the acceleration experienced by the fluid particle is 0 at x comma x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. So now let's look at the concepts we need to know in order to solve this question. So we need to know the criteria that the velocity field should satisfy for an incompressible flow in two dimension and this is given by this condition. So the divergence of the velocity field should be equal to zero. So that means partial u partial x plus partial b partial y should be equal to zero. And if that is the case, then the flow is said to be incompressible. Now for the irrotational flow in two dimension, the curl of the velocity field should be equal to zero, which translates to this formula which is partial v partial x minus partial u partial y is equal to zero. And if that if this condition is satisfied, then the flow is said to be irrotational. We also need to know what uh, the total acceleration of the flow is. And uh, this is given by these two formula. So the top row gives you the acceleration in the x direction, which is the material derivative of u with respect to t which is made up of this local acceleration and the advection of the velocity, u velocity field by the flow which is called as the advective acceleration. Similarly, the y component of the acceleration is given by the material derivative of v and uh, together the total acceleration vector is given by acceleration vector a which is ax i cap plus a by j cap. Now knowing all this let's see how we solve this question. So let's look at the solution. First thing let's write down what is given to us. So we have been given this velocity field v which is equal to 4xy i vector plus 2 times x square minus y square j vector. So from here we can easily see that the u component of the velocity field is 4xy and the v component of the velocity field is 2x square minus y square. Now it's easy to see that you have two components of the velocity field so the flow is surely not one dimensional it is two dimensional. Now to check for the condition p Let's see what the divergence of the velocity field is, which is partial u partial x plus partial v partial y. And this just simply becomes 4 times y minus a 4 times y, which is equal to 0. Thus, this implies that the flow is incompressible. So, option B is correct. Now let's see, let's check for option C if the flow is irrotational or not. For that we need to check for this condition that is partial v partial x minus partial u partial y and this is nothing but so the v velocity is given like this so the partial v with respect to x is nothing but 4x and minus of partial u partial y is again nothing but 4x so so this also becomes 0 this means that the flow is also irrotational so option c is also correct now let's try to find the total acceleration of the flow so first we calculate ax which is nothing but partial u partial t plus u partial u partial x and v partial u partial y. Since the 
flow does not have a time component thus this becomes zero and you, you can see that uh, u is 4xy and partial u partial x will be nothing but 4y plus v is 2x square minus y square and partial u partial y will be simply 4x now at 0 comma 0 so ax at 0 comma 0 will just be simply 0 if we put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 here so the x component of the acceleration is 0 and similarly we can calculate the y component of acceleration which will be given by dv dt plus u dv dx plus v dv dy so this y component will now become since v also is not a function of t so this goes to 0 and this becomes 4xy times 4x plus 2x square minus y square times 4y again when we substitute 0 comma 0 for x and y we get that a y is also equal to 0 so a x is 0 and a y is 0 at 0 comma 0 thus the acceleration at 0 comma 0 is 0 and this means that option D is also correct so this has three correct options and uh, we solve this question option B C and D all are correct and uh, in order to know more about this topic you can refer to this NPTEL course called Introduction to Fluid Mechanics in Fluid Engineering by Professor Suman Chakravarti of IIT Kharagpur.